Interest in algorithmic stablecoins is growing among the crypto community while drawing scrutiny from regulators. Joining us now to explain is Yahoo Finance's Brad Smith. So Brad, let's back up here. What even is a traditional stablecoin? Explain. If you ask Gary Gensler, the SEC chair, he'll say that it is a poker chip. But a stablecoin, by the proper definition, is a type of token that's designed to always carry a fixed value. So these are coins that are less volatile because they are backed either by fiat currency or even by a commodity that's averse to the price fluctuations often experienced by the most well-known cryptocurrencies. Fun fact here, we all know about some of the largest coins, Bitcoin, in Ethereum, but did you know that the third largest cryptocurrency is actually Tether, and that is actually a stable coin? Actually, two out of the top five cryptocurrencies are stable coins, which further illustrates the critical role that stable coins play in cryptocurrency utilization and transactions. And while Tether is the largest stable coin, other common tokens pegged to the value of traditional currency are USD coin and even Binance USD. Akiko? So, how does it all work? So, Simple form here, these are types of stable coins that we're gonna take a look at here as fiat backed, and there are four main ones that we're gonna dive into. Fiat backed, crypto backed, commodity backed, and algorithmic. Now fiat currency backed is the most utilized where the entity they issue an amount of coins representative of an actual dollar amount that they hold. So think of it this way, $100 million, 100 million stable coins. In application though, if you purchase into a stable coin that's issued or minted by that entity holding the real money, that would allow the purchaser, you, then to use their coins, their new coins, to exchange with other blockchain-based assets. So to the opposite end, if you already own other cryptocurrencies, then those holdings can be converted into stable coins, and then those stable coins can be redeemed for real money, cash money, right? <laughs> we love that. No, Brad, uh, you mentioned Gary Gensler has described stable coins as a bit of a poker chip. What have regulators said broadly about this space? Yeah, that's a great question. So SEC Chairman Gary Gensler expects that roughly 80 to 85% of trading and lending on crypto platforms involves stable coins, per his comments to the Penn Law Capital Markets Association. Further, acting comptroller of the currency, Michael Shu, paints the picture of the relationship between the holistic cryptocurrency market and and stable coins to be like an upside down pyramid, if you will. Roughly $2 trillion of crypto resting on about 80, or $180 billion, excuse me, of stable coins. The US House Financial Services Committee, they held a hearing on stable coins during February 2022, and members of that committee have already begun discussing a bill which would set rules for circulating stable coins from an issuer and levels for proportional reserves. So this would create a serious issue when regulating algorithmic stable coins, because in that case, if the dollar pegged stable coin for an issuer, if it falls below a dollar, they would rely on a second cryptocurrency to almost manipulate the price of their stable coin back to a dollar, and regulators are not a fan of currency manipulation, to say the least. So to this point, Congress, Congress's stance on stable coin issuers should need to receive the same licensing allowances that insured depository institutions must abide by as well. Guys? All right, cash rules everything around me, or coins rule everything around me. Cream, dollar dollar bills, y'all. Brad Smith, thanks so much.